All right, in this lesson, we're going to take a look at where we left off yesterday. Please stop now. If you have not watched the announcement video, please go back and watch that because that's going to help you understand what we're doing here. So first of all, your job yesterday was to make an Excel calculator for triangle inequality theorem. If you take your three sides in ascending order from low to high, we should now have it say in this box, does it make a triangle, yes or no? And I left off, starting you off yesterday, if equals. So that's where we'll pick up. Let's see if you did it right. If equals parentheses. So triangle inequality is you take the two shorter sides, add them together, and that sum must be bigger than the longest side. So I got to write my logical test first. What am I testing? Well, I'm testing that theorem. So shortest side plus the next shortest side, and I need that sum to be greater than the length of the largest side. So right here is my math test. So now, if that's true, what do I want Excel to put out? Comma. And basically, you're, it's going to be a yes or no. I'm just going to do this. I'm going to say triangle. Close quotes. Remember, your words need to be in quotes. Comma. What do I want it to say if it's not true? Well, that would mean it's not a triangle. So I'm going to do quotes, not triangle. Close quotes. Now, what am I missing? I'm missing one thing to finish everything and close it off and hit return and make it work. Parenthesis. Now, remember, this is registering everything as zero. So let's try it. Uh, the first one we showed you yesterday was two, three, and five. Does two plus, plus three give you a value greater than five? No, it is not a triangle. So if I change this, what about a three, three, and five? Three plus three is six. That's bigger than five. That works. Let's make bigger numbers like 67, 58. Um, oh, they need the ascending order. Sorry, 67, 76, and 89. Does that work? It does. Because my two lower sides are bigger when added than my third side. So, again, I'll remind you if you did not watch the announcement, please go back and watch it because now this is what we're going to set up for today. The other situation in triangle inequality theorem you get are when you get two sides of the triangle and you have to figure out what the possibilities are of the third. So, instead of like sitting there and like trying different numbers, there's fast ways to do it, which again, you watch the announcement video and you'll get an idea on that. Plus, if you watch the other YouTube video from earlier this week, that explained it as well. But go ahead and set this up and then we'll again come back to this Excel later, but for today, this is your job. Can you create this? So go ahead and put your boxes and here's what I have. Side one, whatever it is, three, side two, and it doesn't matter order now. I can just put in however, nine. Um, hopefully you get an idea of how to calculate this. So our third side has to be bigger than like the lowest amount it can be. So you're going to put a math calculation here and no, it's not an if statement. So you're gonna put an equal and then you figure out what you need to do with these numbers to figure out the very lowest it can be for it to still work. And then over here, the third side has to be smaller than what? So what is the biggest number that it could possibly be to fit in and make a triangle? All right, so again, you're going to make your own math calculation here. So I'm gonna put an equal sign. And then again, based on your learning so far, you're gonna put something there. So by the end of this, I should now be able to go through, type in my two numbers and have it spit out. Oh, this is the lowest possible number that would work in combination with these two. And this is the highest, all right, uh, let me take this out. And just so you know, like uh, the idea would be, well, okay, I could sit here and guess and check, does 10 work? Well, I'll take my two lowest sides, three plus nine is 12, 12 is bigger than 10. Yes, these three numbers would work. Okay, so 10 works, there's a possibility. What about all this eight, does eight work? Well, I'll take your two lowest numbers, three plus eight is 11, 11 is bigger than nine. So yes, those three would make a triangle. But again, you're sitting here spending way too much time figuring out what is my third possible number. So what we're trying to do is set up like what's the lowest possible number that could work. So for example, two. 
Does 2 plus 3 work? No, because 2 plus 3 is 5. Oh, okay, so i got to go higher. 3. 3 plus 3 is 6. Nope, not big enough. Okay, what about 4? 4 plus 3 is 7? No. 5. That's 8. No. Okay, what about 6? Does 6 work? No, 6 does not work. All right, because 6 plus 3 is 9. Can I go more? Yes, I can. So I don't want to give the surprise away or spoil it for you, so I'll let you figure that out. Your job today is can you have this calculator all done so that the top works. If you didn't get yesterday, you didn't get it figured out, do what I did here. And then I want to be able to put in these two numbers and have it spit out the lowest possible number that would work and the largest possible number that would work. All right, good luck. See ya.